Now we will talk about the basis for the Curie-Weiss law for antiferromagnets. <clears throat> so first of all, let's remember what that was and uh, how that would apply to this case. Well, uh, first we need to recall that antiferromagnetism is uh, mostly present in ionic salts. So antiferromagnetic materials are mostly ionic salts. These have localized moments. Now, <clears throat> we have an empirical result. Empirically, it is known that when an antiferromagnet turns into a paramagnet for t greater than tn, the susceptibility uh, varies as c over t plus theta, a constant divided by uh, the absolute temperature t plus some uh, number theta, which can be written also in the form c divided by t minus uh, minus theta. Uh, from the Weiss theory, we know that uh, theta is proportional to a gamma, the molecular field constant. So if we have minus theta, this implies we have a negative Weiss molecular field, Hw. Okay. So for the rest of this discussion, consider only the interaction between the sublattices A and B. A B sublattice interactions. And first thing I need to do is to find the Weiss molecular field acting on sublattice A. So what is the Weiss molecular field acting on a sub lattice. Well, this is HW acting on A is minus gamma, a Weiss molecular field constant, times the magnetization of the B sub lattice. So MB is magnetization of the B sub lattice. And similarly, I can write the Weiss molecular field acting on the B sublattice, HWB. This is equal to minus gamma times the magnetization of the A sublattice. Okay. Now, for a temperature greater than the nail temperature, if I write the susceptibility, susceptibility is uh, net magnetization divided by the magnetic field H and this is varying as C over T. So I can write the magnetization for each uh, sublattice as HC over T because each sublattice is a ferromagnet that turned into a paramagnet. So this C over T formalism applies to uh, this situation so it becomes a paramagnet so for uh, if i write this for sublattice a uh, and h is the net field acting on a so basically i'm considering that uh, a has turned into a paramagnet with uh, the susceptibility given by c over t the magnetization of the A sublattice then is some constant C prime multiplied with the uh, net magnetic field, external field minus gamma MB, which is plus the Weiss molecular field divided by the temperature T. So HX is my external field. 
And similarly, I can write the magnetization of the B sub lattice as the constant C prime external field minus gamma MA divided by the temperature T. So if you write the total magnetization, it will be the sum of uh, the A sub lattice magnetization and B sub lattice magnetization. That will be equal to C prime over T uh, 2 H external minus gamma times M uh, which is 2 C prime H external divided by T minus C prime gamma M over T that is equal to the magnetization. So if I rewrite this, this will be 2 C prime H over uh, T. This is my H external over T is magnetization times 1 plus C prime gamma over T and that implies 2 C prime H external is equal to M T plus C prime gamma. So this M is basically MA plus MB, the, the net magnetization. So I therefore I can write M divided by H which is H external is 2 C prime divided by T plus C prime gamma. So this is different from uh, this H that I have introduced here. This is the net field acting on uh, sublattice A. So this H is the net field acting on sublattice A. But here I have the external field, so which is the susceptibility that I'm measuring. And this is in the form C over T plus theta where C is equal to 2C prime. So the, the constant that I see is twice the, uh, the constants for each sublattice. And uh, therefore this formulation has been established using the Weiss uh, idea. Now if the external field is zero, if H external is zero, and the temperature is the nail temperature, if I write the A sub lattice magnetization, it will just be equal to minus C prime gamma MB divided by the temperature, nail temperature, which is minus theta MB divided by the nail temperature. And we know for an antiferromagnet, MA is equal to minus MB with the uh, zero applied field. So what I find is that the uh, minus mb is equal to min uh, minus theta mb divided by t nail. These cancel and uh, the minus signs also disappear. And I find that what I'm calling theta is the nail temperature. So this is similar to uh, what we see in the uh, ferromagnets where the, the theta is uh, the Curie temperature. So here it is the nail temperature. So uh, in reality, if we measure uh, this theta using the, the temperature dependence of susceptibility and the nail temperature independently, we find that theta value is somewhat larger than the nail temperature. And the reason is the following. We're only considering the A sublattice interacting with the B sublattice. But if you consider uh, contributions from next nearest neighbors, so next uh, nearest neighbors also have a contribution. Next nearest neighbor interactions uh, that we did not consider. This is going to change the value of theta and make it somewhat larger. And for T less than Tn, what do we have? Ma is always equal to minus Mb, so that the net magnetization is zero. Well, that is the property of the antiferromagnet. Uh, strictly speaking, of course, this is true at zero field. 
and we will talk about how the susceptibility in the antiferromagnetic phase behaves in the next videos. Okay, so we are trying to account for the fact that the susceptibility of an antiferromagnet above the nail temperature where it becomes a paramagnet is uh, C over T plus theta. So this susceptibility is the magnetization we measure divided by the external field. So this is M uh, divided by H external. And this theta is related to the Weiss molecular field constant. So if you have a minus theta, uh, Weiss interprets this as having a negative Weiss molecular field. So if we consider only AB sublattice interactions, only nearest neighbors, so that means nearest neighbor interactions, um, the Weiss molecular field acting on sublattice A is minus gamma MB and acting on sublattice B is minus gamma MA. So if I write the susceptibility uh, as the magnetization divided by the total field acting on this sublattice, it will be in the form C over T according to Curie's law. So uh, M is equal to H C over T. For H I substitute the field that I'm applying plus the Weiss molecular field for the two sublattices. And when I talk about the total magnetization, I find that the ratio of total magnetization M divided by H external is 2 C prime over T plus C prime gamma. So that allows me to recognize theta as being equal to C prime times gamma and C is equal to 2 C prime. So if the external field is zero and we are at the nail temperature where MA is equal to minus MB, theta must be the nail temperature. In reality, theta is somewhat larger because we have also next nearest neighbor interactions that we did not consider in this theory. And for T less than TN with uh, zero external uh, field, strictly speaking, we have the two magnetizations cancelling each other to give a net magnetization of zero. But when we apply a magnetic field, uh, there will be a small and positive uh, susceptibility and we will try to account for that in uh, our next videos.